Um, now, if you think you're having an uncomfortable time at the moment, spare a thought for Andy Peterson. We brought you his story on Friday. He is midway through a mammoth bike ride around the UK to raise awareness of bowel cancer and to raise money to fund research into the disease. Yeah, he's aiming to cycle two and a half thousand kilometres in just seven days, literally the length and breadth of Britain. He's on target, but the heat's proving a real problem, unsurprisingly. He said the soaring temperatures were making the ride dangerous today, so he's going to do much of the journey from here at night. We spoke to him earlier and asked how he's feeling. A little bit tired, uh, a little bit hot, and um, a wee bit frustrated. But listen, these things happen. You just have to change and readjust. The first two days went well. They were tough. I mean, it was hot. Today's very hot. The previous two days, I had just shade under 700 kilometres, went from Lizard Point to lowest off, to so the most southerly to the most easterly. And then about early afternoon, as I got close to Lincoln, you could feel the temperature rising. I could feel my body starting to get hotter. So when I felt that, I stopped at a pub uh, took a lot of ice water, realised how hot I was, realised how hot the temperature was out there, and um, decided to stop because it was, frankly, it was getting da- it was getting dangerous for me, and I was also worried about my tyres, believe it or not, because the tarmac is melting, and I didn't want to blow a tyre because it got so hot. I uh, plan to get to Newcastle tomorrow and potentially beyond. It all depends how the temperatures are up north. I'm about 140 kilometres short, so I need to catch up seven hours at some point. And I'll basically ride through the night. It's just a case of keeping the wheels moving, basically. It's as simple as that. Oh, stay safe, Andy. Amazing. He is amazing, amazing, isn't he? So, yeah, he says he's going to cycle through the dark because it's cooler and uh, get what he can when he can. But he reckons he's going to still on track, Ardnamurkin by Friday night. He's amazing. We'll keep you posted on that one. And we'll be back tomorrow.